streaming. Yay! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monster Hearts. I am your dungeon master, Devious Vacuum. Master of Ceremonies. Your, I am your master of ceremonies. I am your master of vampire boners. Your yes. master of creepy vampire sex dungeons. I mean, of course. Naturally. But that's unrelated or to this game. Or unnaturally. Okay. So, um, we are have we have special guests. Uh, we have a new member of the of the gang today, Arison. Hello. So, uh, we begin in a mysterious, uh, dark stone room where Damien Cervantes enters to answer to two mysterious hood hooded figures. Go ICP! <laughs> the two figures look down at him, and they, say, they address him by name, Damien Cervantes. He looks at them and says, Yeah, what is it? What do I have to do now? They look at him and say, Damien, you, as part of your continuing punishment of being sentenced to high school for 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> the cruelest no. punishment of all! <laughs> Damien. It is not. That's cruel. How does no one know that he's been in high school for like 50 years so far? <laughs> I don't know, how does Twilight work? <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. Damien. It is now, <laughs> after your, now that your first hundred years has been, has been, uh, been up, you uh, must now begin the community service aspect of your sentence. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Oh, fine. What do you got? What do I have to do now, you guys? What do I, I mean, I can't get off for good behavior? No, Damien. We are recently, we have recently uh, brought, we have recently brought over a, uh, a transfer student who is an older vampire who has recently woken up from many hundreds of years of slumber. And you are charged with him in order to help him uh, transition into life in modern society. Are you serious? Yes. His name is Vladimir Rybin. <laughs> Did I say that right? Da. And... He will be joining you for the next semester of school. Damien looks really annoyed, and he looks over to the left, where suddenly... Hello, friend! I am here! <laughs> oh, God. You are the Damien, da? Huh? We will be yes. bestest buddies here in America. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Vlad. Hello! Holy shit. <laughs> you will be taking Vlad to school with you today, and he will be your charge for as long as he is here, getting accustomed to the ways of American vampires. Where are sheep, by the way? Around! <laughs> <laughs> Damien's face hey, is Cowboys, scrunched you... up. I, that was not me, that was Cowbox. You can I swear to god I did not touch Cliff. You Someone rotate. keeps moving my pog too. You can rotate using the uh, the little stick that comes off the pog. I, I didn't Wink. do that though. <laughs> oh my. I, I, just, I just fixed you. Damien says, hello Vlad, my name is, is Damien Cervantes and, and I'll be your mentor here at Monster High. Thank you, I am so excited to be here in Monster School in America. It has been many years, I've heard many things about New World. I'm very excited to see. Great, um, so, so the, uh, so the, um, the vampires who are in charge of Damien leave them, uh, leave, leave the two of you together, and Damien says, okay, look. I don't- I have my own shit that I got going on, and I don't know if you're aware of the whole situation of why I'm here, but 
Basically, I pissed off some people that I shouldn't have pissed off, and I need to get back at them. But that's none of your concern. You're just going to stay quiet and observe and not cause any trouble. No, of course not. I am good vampire. I think. Okay. Or am I bad vampire? <laughs> You're amazing. Look, I'm lad, we're... We're kind of the bad vampires. I, I hate to break this to you. But... Oh, that is fine. I can be bad vampire. <laughs> We're gonna go to school like normal, and I want you to look at these kids or whatever and try to copy what they do, I guess. I don't fucking care. Just don't kill anyone, okay? Oh, no, of course not. That's why we have sheep, yeah? Sure, yeah. Uh, we'll do that at later. Just, just... Stay next to me, don't go off on your own, don't cause any trouble, please. Okie dokie! Alright, now we're gonna go to school. Holy fuck. Well, jolly vampire potato. Okay, Molly's not here right now, so uh, we're just gonna go to... Lunch, because we'll do a we'll do a half day since we're really excited about the concert. Yes. There's a skull and so, crossbones on my character. Oh yeah, Cowbox. Um, Lowell has the condition for today: puppy killer, which means that he killed. He played some spelunky the other day <laughs> and just threw a bunch of puppies into the spikes. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lowell has a plus one to volatile and a minus one to everything else for the whole day. Okay. Man, art imitates life. If you get bonuses, I should have killed some puppies if you get bonuses like that. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. I don't even use volatile. I'm a ghost. <laughs> you could be a volatile ghost. Not really. Oh, no, Vlad well, is energetic. So, no. <laughs> He's just so excited to be here. All right. So let's. Uh, so it's Friday. Uh, everybody's pretty. Well, some some people are are pretty hype about the big concert that's happening at the Tipsy Dick. The Xanarkand Aids are uh, are playing a gig, and some of you have been invited to go, and some of you are going to show up because of plans that you have. Yes. This is all true. And then there's Orville. <laughs> so... Orville just happens to haunt the adult bookstore next door. Yes. Right. <laughs> he hears the noise, goes in. An adult bookstore is even more <laughs> lame than an adult video store. <laughs> <laughs> well, where else is he going to get his manga? I had to say manga now because somebody yelled at me on Steam for pronouncing it manga once on stream. No, then you have oh to call God. it Minga. <laughs> Mangoes. Yes. He likes his mangoes and his animu. His anims. Japanimation. Oh okay, so it's Friday. Um, let's see, what threads are going on? Well, let's just start with, with our characters. Uh, let's, let's start with Cliff, since he's on the left. Cliff, right. what do you do? Uh, I am going to go... Get, get my you were lunch. gonna research, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that during classes. So I get my lunch. What's for lunch today? Um, it's Friday, so at my school we would always have uh, fish nuggets and macaroni and cheese, which was the best lunch day. Oh man, everything's coming up, Millhouse. Fish nuggets. Yeah, because just in case you had people who couldn't eat meat on Fridays. Oh man, Friday was always pizza day at my school. Way better. The best day of the week. All the kids would line up super early just to eat. Shitty, shitty microwavable pizza. Yep, but it was so good. Bread tangles. It was so much better than all the other crap they tried to fucking stuff down our throats. <laughs> Alright. Jezebel and Matilda say hello to you as you sit down next to them and put down their lunch. They look at you excitedly, Matilda says across the table. So, tonight, we're going to make our move, right? That's the plan. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> what more do you want? That's... 
Uh, what's the what's the plan, fearless leader? Uh, well, I'm gonna start working on that during classes today. So uh, don't be surprised if I don't show up to science. They they look at you kind of nervously that you still don't have a plan, and it's like four <laughs> hours until the class. I got this. I got this. Uh, they they say, well, I I suppose if there isn't um. You know, we, we don't have to we don't have to quite make the move yet to kill him, um, says Jezebel, but Matilda says, No, it's it's his tyranny has gone on long enough. We need to do something about this. I've got a bunch of wooden stakes. Jezebel, you can map out his plans using your crystal ball. Uh Jezebel's gonna gonna look into the dark to she's gonna roll dark to try to look into the future and, and with her crystal ball. Holy hell. All right, so Jezebel looks into the future and uh, with her crystal ball right there in front of you. She she takes, she actually, she it's just like Labyrinth, so she has like three of them and she like moves them <laughs> around in her hand really quickly and stares at them intensely. And uh, Jezebel looks up with you, looks up at you suddenly and, uh, and says Damien will be there, but he will also have backup. What kind of backup? There will be other vampires there. I don't know if this is the night that we need to make our move, but if we are, then we have to be prepared for other vampires to be there. All right, don't worry, I got this. I don't think he got this. I got this. Matilda and Jezebel still look really, really unsettled at the prospect of this. And and they, cause they, they haven't actually done anything. I mean, all they've been doing is basically stalking Damien. <laughs> Well, it's cool. I I know what I'm doing. We're good. We're, we're good. We're good. Um, why don't you why don't you roll hot to manipulate basically to convince them that you know what you're doing? All right. I don't remember what my modifier is. Plus one. I got this. Damn. Oh. They, you know, Damn, with your son. newfound Jesus. popularity for being the son of a famous guy, they're, like, all over this. They're like, of course, his he, his dad is Nightblade. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot about that. God damn it. All right, who's next? Um, I guess Orville, if we're going by who's on the left. Orville, what do you do? Orville's gonna go sit with his new friends, the Goths. He has new friends. He sort thinks. Of. That, he thinks. He thinks he does. <laughs> he thinks he has new friends, so he's gonna sit right there. All right, you're gonna need to roll to hold steady. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just double check. Yeah, I'm too cold, so. I fucking like, got this. I don't think he's <laughs> failed right. a cold wow, yet. Well, well I kind of have plus two to cold, so it's hard to fail. So, um, Lazarus, Velvet, and Samson are going to take this as a sign that you, uh, you are on their team. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and be like, hi, and realizing that I didn't actually grab a lunch, pull some Pocky out of my pockets and start attempting to eat that before realizing that it's just falling into my clothes again. <laughs> so Velvet and Echo move away from you in, in sort of trepidation, but uh, Samson and Lazarus look at you intently, and, uh, and Samson says, Hello, Orville. Hey, did you catch that episode of Dragon Ball Z last night? That's not important right now. Although, yes, it was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> he says, so, Orville, are you beginning to regain your memory at all? What? Lazarus says, he does not remember. What? And Samson says, I'm sorry, but I'm... As per the rules of the ritual, I am not allowed to divulge any additional information to you. What? <laughs> and, Orville's uh, just kind of like, what the fuck is happening? He's gonna, Lazarus, you know, maybe Lazarus scoot back a little bit from the table, like, uh-huh, what the fuck? Lazarus beckons you to come closer to him. Uh, okay, he's just gonna do it, like, Nervously, like who the f what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Dvac, you should All roll right. hot. 
<laughs> See if you arouse Orville. N- no. <laughs> that was the best answer ever. Orville rolls what? hot as he moves over. Clearly, that's the answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what All have right. I done? All right, some new cannon is happening right now. <laughs> I was hoping to fail horribly because it would be funny, and it didn't. It's now it's kind of funny. God damn it. <laughs> Look at also the sexy ones. ghost boy. Oh, this is what happens when we the, roll the, off. The sweat glistens off his neck beard, and <laughs> as he leans over, you catch a glimpse of fat ass crap from his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus bends in closer to you to whisper... Thank you for lending me your power for this important mission. Boner time. He has he has a really deep raspy voice, but I can't actually do that. Thank you I for can... lending me this power. Yeah. I sound like a pack a day smoker, but I'm in high school. Exactly. Smoke. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, so Orville can tell that uh, so Orville finally gets a good look at Lazarus and uh, looks into his slightly glowing orange eyes. <laughs> And suddenly, uh, you ha- you you're gonna roll dark to see if you if you remember anything. Um. Okay. Oops, I keep oh. forgetting to. I do. Nice. But it's okay. Fuzzy. Let me check gates into the abyss. Yeah, uh, yeah, like a little bit of ass crack we can see. <laughs> okay, so the Fuzzy visions, like his chin. The visions you get are confusing and alarming. So uh, you remember uh, hazily uh, Lazarus in in his in his hoodie, uh, Samson, Velvet, and Echo, and you uh, seated around a pentagram uh, drawn on the ground, where each of you were one of the points of the pentagram. This was not at all like what the fairies tried to do to you. This was something entirely more Well, real. I was inside the pentagram that time. This time I'm on the outside. Yes, and, uh, and you remember feeling, uh, a pulling sensation toward Lazarus during this, during this ritual. And you remember, uh... <laughs> I'm feeling something. <laughs> you Orville remember Lazarus... You remember Lazarus holding a, a a knife, and that's but it's but you don't really remember the context or or what exactly was happening. Were the sirens part of that too? Yes, that, we we heard them outside yeah, because the police yeah, were yeah, coming the cops, to stop the, the cops. Yeah, you remember you don't remember an ambulance. Maybe you remember the cops. And uh, so so the. Uh, so Lazarus looks to the rest of the table and says, um, hold on, I need a drink of water. Wait, I need an icon on Orville to represent ghost boners. He says, he looks at them and says, uh, do not act as anything, as if anything has transpired. And they all look and they all look at him and, and they, they all nod, you know, they're very, uh, they're, they, you get the feeling that Velvet and Samson are very obedient to everything that Lazarus says, but Echo still looks sort of uneasy, so he looks especially hard at her and says, Nothing different has happened. Our friend Orville is still here with us. I didn't go anywhere. And he looks at you and says, Orville, you might have noticed lately that now I'm Solid Snake. (laughs) (laughs) Orville, Orville, Orville. Orville rolls two d six plus cardboard box. Orville, <laughs> you may have noticed lately that you have had some powers that you did not previously possess. I kind pocky. I I've been eating the same um um the same uh, pocky all week. That's it's pretty true. Cool. You no longer require sustenance as mortals do. But can I still eat stuff? <laughs> I love that the big fat anime guy the first thing he cares about is whether or not he can eat more Pocky or not <laughs> Lazarus says I'm sorry but the, but the pleasures of the flesh are no longer known to you for you have in lending your power to me uh, become a ghost 
a, a shadow of your former self, and I thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 really he, he, sad says, he, he just says, says this. Orville just goes, okay, and then, wait, what the fuck? First. Lazarus, Lazarus, looks, Lazarus looks really sad as he looks at you and, and like looks down at his hands like the power that he possesses. And, uh, and he says, uh, so, so he says, uh, we, can, we can discuss this more later, but I am afraid that as per the rules of the ritual, I cannot tell you who you were until you remember it on your own, or else the transfer of power will not be complete. Orville realizes what happens and assigns the blamed condition to Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual thing that ghost mechanics key off of, so Lazarus has blamed. Ah, okay. It's kind of a big deal, too. <laughs> Orville's not going to act on it because he's a wuss otaku ghost, but... Otaku. Blame. Oh, I was using the, we the weird face as the ghost boner icon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's if someone gets cast sleep cast on them, actually, that little face. I, I it's have a no sleepy idea. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> so Lazarus, sleepy boner. So Lazarus has blame. And Orville's just gonna kind of go back to his seat and look, be just incredibly fucking even more awkward than he was. All right, the um, the rest of your lunch goes back, goes like as normal, I guess. Oh fuck you, Derp! In the chat, Derp says literally a weeaboo. I get it, boo like a ghost. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is there an imposter? Hi, I'm the moon in the chat. What the fuck? Well, what? Larry, you can give uh, fake high the, I'm the moon a timeout, and you can give Derp a 69 second timeout for the weeaboo joke. Um, am I ops? I think you oh, are. Oh yeah, I am. Are you sure it's not you? Yep. Alright, so... Because mine isn't high I'm the moon. That's just my name on Twitter, because other things were taken. It's alternate dimension, you. Maybe. I, I roll in, I gaze into the dark to see, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next, Vlad, you enter the cafeteria. Vlad goes over and gets his food, and then he just kind of wanders around before he gets to Damien, so he, like, goes to around every single table just looking at people. <laughs> people look at you strangely as you examine them with interest. You excitedly go, hello! Yes. Yes, he goes, hello, hi, how are you? Hi. No one hello. no one waves back. Orville waves back. That that doesn't stop him. He just he just goes around. And or Orville rolls hot while he waves back. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, the most unsexy. Yeah. Ouch. Instead of ghost nice. boners, it's ghost shrinkage. <laughs> Alright. Vlad sits next to Damien. Damien Dame says, Hello, Vlad. Hello, friend! Damien what is has this no, food? Damien has no interest in talking to you, so you're gonna have to ask all the questions. What, uh, what Damien, is this food here? This is what they feed to the to the mortals that go to school here. It's, it's really disgusting, even by animal standards. You're free not to get any, or just play with it or something. Make it look like you're eating. Vlad because proceeds I... to just play with his food, just make, like, <laughs> shapes out of the food and stuff. Just with his hands? Yes. And, and Damien, like, smacks your hand, and he's like, no, you have to oh. make it look like you're eating it, or else the mortals aren't going to believe that you are one of them. Vlad just slowly begins eating and chewing. How does it taste? Oh, it tastes, like, gross. It, everything tastes gross when you're a vampire. Blah. He says, no, don't actually eat it! It's no potato. Just pretend. I miss potatoes in old country. <sighs> <laughs> Just a vampire. Then, uh, then, then suddenly, uh, a girl comes up to the table. Hi, Damien. Damien already frustrated, looks over and, and says, what? The girl says, 
Um, I just couldn't help but notice that you are also, like, not eating any food. And I was just wondering, you know, um, are you also vegan? And uh, Damien... <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Vlad has... laughs loudly. <laughs> Damien hits Vlad on the face to make him stop talking. Oh, right on the face. And... No, he puts he puts he puts his hand over your mouth, like, but without turning away, he just like puts his hand over, over your face. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Vlad. And he says, "Why, yes, I am." And uh, uh, Chevron goes, "Oh my god, really? We should talk sometime, you know, um, about about being vegan." And he's like, "That would make me quite happy." I'll t- I'll, and she goes, oh, are, are you going to be at the concert tonight? And he goes, oh, I will be. And she goes, ah, oh, you should, uh, maybe we could, like, hang out. I don't know, she's Lumpy Spades Princess. <laughs> and maybe we could, like, hang out. Oh, my, oh my God. God. And, and he says, I would really enjoy that. And she is just, like, completely charmed, and she, like, walks back. He's so charming, he doesn't even need to roll hot. Yeah, I know. Well, they're NPCs, so you don't get to see the rolls. Um, so, uh-huh. uh... Uh-huh. They're just in my head. Um, so, uh, so Damien looks back, uh, looks angrily at Vlad and says, Okay, this is how we do it. You need to not tell, uh, the elders about this conversation that you just saw. Well, why not? I thought you were this vegan? <laughs> what is vegan? It's a stupid thing that mortals made up. Don't worry about it. Um, what 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 I've been doing while I've been here is, you know, I mean, I'm gonna be in high school. If I gotta do this high school thing for a while, I might as well enjoy myself. Do you get what I mean? I'm not gonna kill anybody, but I might as well enjoy myself. Yikes. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like with the eating of sheep? <laughs> and he says, "It's it's a little bit more subtle than that." Oh. And, uh, and um, and he says, "Just don't interfere with uh with me and me talking to to these girls. I have I have plans. I have things that I need to do." What kind of things? And he he looks around like he he he's not used to saying this kind of stuff out loud. Um, so he like leans in and he goes, um, he goes, it's none of your concern, but I um, let's see, but some of the mortals here they're very easily manipulated by us and our vampire charms. And so I figure, well, okay, I'm not allowed to kill anybody while I'm here, sentenced to being in high school for another century. But uh, I can at least, you know, I can I can have a snack. Just a little snack. As long as long as the elders don't know about it. Do you get do you get what I mean? Just just a little oh, snack. Oh, you mean you're biting the neck. Yes, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy so much. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Why are you only a guest? I don't Damn it. Know. No, he can he can stay as long as as long as um until until the story is is done until Vlad's story is done. So a century. until Damien eventually murders me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So next is is Lowell and Vara. Okay. Well, I'm making my way to my usual table. I'm, I'm going I'm rolling up ar- in with you, bro. I'm going up around this way. As I'm passing by, you know, I shoot. The usual glare <laughs> over at Fenris Warbeck. I'm making my way past Kyle Lunch Lynch, and I hand him <laughs> his book bag, which is now full of just empty candy wrappers and whatnot. <laughs> he looks kind of sad, but he also has another large pile of food in front of him, so he's not, like, super sad. <laughs> Pass my way by the stoners, you know, shoot them a quick little thumbs up, and then I, I just sit at the usual table. I push Fenris's face into his lunch again. <laughs> <laughs> Fenris is full of uh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all in his hair. Gross. All right, I sit down next to Lowell. 
Because we bros. We're going to lunch together. Look at this sick mac and cheese, yo! <laughs> mac and cheese is the best. Yes. Okay, so Vara, when you got to school this morning, you realized that Clarence was completely missing and uh, and did not do the prank that you asked him to do. In fact, you have not seen hide nor hair of Clarence. He has completely disappeared. Hmm. Lil, have you seen that fish boy around? The only times I've seen him is when I was with you, so no. Man, I was gonna have him glue all the girls' lockers shut, but he, uh, he didn't do it. None of the girls are complaining about having to be stuck in gym shorts. It's kinda lame. Can we go do that anyway? Yeah, we can probably go do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> when I mean, do you want to go do this, that anyway? I've still got all this super glue, so yeah, let's uh, let's hit the gym after school before that awesome. before that concert. That'll be some good fun entertainment. This is gonna be a good night. Yeah, but I still got this stupid. Uh, she pulls out the pelt from her bag. I don't know what this thing is, but it seems really important, and it's kind of sparkly, and it also it smells like ocean like like high tide at a dirty All right. beach you put it down on the table uh it looks like uh, a grody old bath mat um <laughs> but like <laughs> but like shaggier shaggier than a bath mat um kind of fuzzy and it does have it, it is it is you know glittering slightly when you look at it a certain way and and uh you also uh haven't washed it since you found it gross well, this thing's stinking up my bag. I think after we eat, I might go rinse it off in the bathroom. Because, damn, this smells bad. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to take it, because I don't really want to carry it around anymore. I don't make a habit of carrying ragged old bath mats with me, so no, that's all on you. Gross. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Good, good friend. Good talk. <laughs> Alright, well, we're eating mac and cheese, all gross, and it's getting all over the table. <laughs> Alright, um, Face first see. into the mac. We're just scooping it with our hands. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, you oh. dicks. What do you, you know what want? happened to Clarence? Whoa. Whoa, did you just call us dicks? I think you just called us dicks. Do you know what you did? I'm sorry, did, did you just call us dicks? Because I think I misheard you. Do you want you want to roll the uh to uh shut someone down? Um yes, is that cold? That's cold. Yes. So I sort of shut him down? Uh you each lose a string on one another. Oh, I didn't have a string on him, so Oh, then, uh, then you give a condition to one another. Uh, okay, I give him... The condition dweeb. Yeah! <laughs> Dingus. I like you're, dweeb. You're gonna get the condition guilty, Vera. Guilty? Oh, man. He called me a jerk. Or something. I wasn't really listening a when dick. he talks. <laughs> that's, that's like when you made me cry for drawing ding-dongs on my notebook. <laughs> you just felt guilty about it afterwards. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, so he's still angry instead of afraid, and uh, and he says, "You guys bullied Clarence so much that he returned to the sea. He went back to be with his people in France." <laughs> in ocean, France, France is far the away. lost city of France, Lantis. <laughs> <laughs> but, but wait, he left. I thought this thing was important to him. I guess it wasn't. Hmm. Well, I guess not I... because he's gone now, and it's all your fault. You bullied a kid out of our school. You're out of control. You're a poor example to werewolves everywhere. I guess that uh, that only leaves one guy left for us to bully, then, huh? <laughs> 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 I can't decide if he should still be angry or if he should finally get scared, so make another uh, cold check. Uh, should should uh, Lowell make one as well? Yeah, since Lowell, he's... make a make a cold check, Lowell. Sure, oh, I'm taking up. A... Oh, shit, let's see. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, you're now, behind him. Now he suddenly changes his tune a little bit, looking at looking at Vara as she says this, and he goes, Oh, well, uh... Well, I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should go back to your table. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're so mean! <laughs> you monsters! 